Sky, an explosive new windsurfing video release, Out of the Blue. Aloha, welcome to Maui. We'll be showing you some red hot action. We'll take you behind the scenes with exclusive interviews with some of the world's top water sportsmen. So hook in and hold on as we take you to Maui's most radical spots. Aye. Welcome to Maui. Well, I would say the right time of the year is the best place in the world for practice this sport. Here it's such a nice place for windsurfing. I moved to Maui about eight and a half years ago and I moved here for windsurfing because this is the best place. Maui is the best place to wave sail. The reason why I come to Maui to windsurf is because the wind's so good, it's so consistent, the trade winds that we have. The waves are pretty consistent. The reason I came here is, I don't know, it's pretty obvious, it's really good sailing. Probably the best place in the world. You can't ask for better conditions. You've got the sun, you've got the wind, you've got the waves. It's a perfect lifestyle for surfers and for windsurfers. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So uh, when I'm not windsurfing, uh, basically I do two things, uh, motocross and uh, surfing. And I'll, I'll start that again. And I'll, I'll start that again. Just riding the lip, riding the lip and carving it. I know, just surfing. Well, when there's no wind, I go surfing a lot. I enjoy it very much. The right day can be as much fun as windsurfing in good conditions. The best things, you know, to be at the no wind day, you know, like a surfing.
uh, Hurricane Iniki, I think was the most fearful time for me in my life. And uh, I've never had an, any, anything else like it in my life. I think it was the, uh, the highlight of my career as far as life-saving goes. And on that particular day, we saved about maybe 15 people, a dog. And when I realized how serious the waves were that we were dealing with, was my ski, I know I can outrun a wave up to 30 feet. Anything after 30 feet, I can't outrun a wave. And uh, I remember dropping in on this wave, and I was full bore, full throttle, trying to go as fast as I could, and the wave just bypassed me. And that's when I knew it was just it was serious business out there, besides dodging all the, all the sailboats and the debris that was all over the place. For me, I just try and live, I try and live a simple, easy life um, you know don't take things for granted and uh, treat everybody equal no matter who they are I'm Brian Tama from Barbados and I travel here to Maui from any time from February to June. The reason I come to Maui is because Maui has the better windsurfing conditions and is the best place to train. Also there's two competitions in March and April which I do come for. It's a sport that you are able to travel through many different mediums if it should be the land, if it should be the sea and through the air. You can move, you have more mobility through the water and you're propelled by the wind, wind, wind.
I messed up in the beginning. <laughs> Tears. I'm from uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> and I'll, I'll start that again. And I'll, I'll start that again. <laughs> and it had been a lot of fun, I would say.
big waves is definitely more of a challenge. That's where really the, the thrill of the sport lays within me. I mean, through windsurfing, I'm able to ride waves and use the power of the wind to get into these waves that I would probably not be able to surf surf. I don't call it brave. I just call it, you know, expressing myself in the moment of what happens. And there's just the fact that there's a lot of water moving.
Yeah. 